Welcome back. Well, it is the fall season, and I know we love football, but I tell you what, that's not the only sport we got going on. There was a pretty big field hockey game that was going on actually last night. I tell you what, it was an emotional one over at Pocomo as they played their first game since the passing of their longtime head coach, Susan Pusey. The Warriors taking on Worcester Prep, playing with heavy hearts, no doubt, but definitely playing some inspired ball out there, especially this girl, Lexi Butler, dominant the first half. The reigning conference player of the year scored not one, not two, not three. Well, she did score three. It was a hat trick. Gave Pokemon a three nothing lead of the break. Second half, the Warriors not done yet. This time, it's Mackenzie Butchamp on the far post, able to send that one and made it four goal lead. And then just 30 seconds left to play. A little Peyton Becker right here taking this thing all the way in, weaving and dealing with a beautiful finish. Pokemon ends up getting this one for Susan, five nothing the final, and we are all Pusey strong. Easton hosting Bel Air in their opener. Pusey Strong, it's all over Delmarva. Great gesture there from one band of Warriors to the other. Tatum Crouch getting things started for Easton. She puts the Warriors up one to nothing, just 10 minutes in. But guys, I tell you, it'd be all Bel Air from there. Anna Farley doing her thing all by herself. Puts one in the back of the box, unassisted. Farley would strike again just five minutes later, again, all by her lonesome. Easton falls in their opener by a final of three to one. And we've got some soccer going on the Parkside. Rams boys soccer team took the field this afternoon for their second game of the day. And Paint Branch is going to get dangerous inside the sixth. Just not even fair for Justin Ballsey. That one gets past him far post. But the Rams look to get things going here. Jared Ramsey's gets a shot off from the PK spot. But it is wide right. And the visiting team continued to capitalize on their opportunities with another goal here. As Paint Branch takes this one 3-2 to two the final. And UMES Volleyball was in action this afternoon. They were taking on DSU, the Hawks, on the attack early on. Alana Polk hammers that one home right there off the deflection. That's good for the kill. They would go on to take set one. The Hornets trying to fight their way back here in set two. Jasmine Jackson serves up the ace right there, just paints the line. That is a good one right there, but this one was all Hawks all day this time. Check out the soft touch by Zuzana Andrasco right here. Ooh, nice. Just right over the block, it falls in. The Hawks get the sweep. And how about this? They proved a 6 0 the best start in school history. Frank Purdue's alma mater, the Salisbury University, taking on the Merchant Marines. Between the lines, SU gets on the board first. Leslie Amuna with his first career goal as a goal. Salute that man. You are at a oh, fine oh, 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 institution. Oh. <laughs> the Mariners trying to come back. SU senior goalie Drew Stadelli comes up with a save. But watch this, guys. Watch his kick deflect right off of a Merchant's player over his head. And Brandon Jum Jumano scores. Stadelli was not happy with the refs. But in the first 51st minute, Matt Green, his free kick finds Taylor Gruginski's foot. As SU takes the winner, they win this one 2-1 to one the final. Due to the and the good. SU women's <laughs> soccer team took the field today against Washington and Lee. Now, luckily, SU's keeper, she's actually transfer, Hamp Knusman, had five saves on the day, including that one right there. But the Generals continued to hammer shots on goal like this beautiful shot here from Trisha Jesse. Check this one out inside the 18. Far post, and poor Knusman oh. did not have a chance with something that pretty. Now, the Generals weren't done, though. Caroline Peters would end up getting another goal here. Check out the header, and she just puts the finishing uh. touch on it. SU drops this one at home, 4-2 to the final. Man, they were running all through the six. I huh? know, they were. <laughs> with the <laughs> with the <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, it's time to take another quick commercial break. But when we return, it's national time. Cut day in the NFL. Some big names biting the dust. We'll talk NFL when we return. I'm Gerald Foreman with Indian River High School, running back and cornerback, and you're watching the Marvel Sports Insider. <laughs> 